Um, so like my um, partner and I stated earlier, um, our, our um, rebuttal still stands that um, the monetary punishments have no use whatsoever. And when um, my opponent came up here and uh, rebuttaled against my arguments, they didn't really address anything in regards to the monetary punishment, which is like their sole um, point and their sole uh, purpose um, to their argument. Um, and besides that, if um, that doesn't work, they didn't really offer any other solutions. Um, they just cr criticized and critiqued the wall and um, current policies today. Um, and they didn't really address how immigrants are a physical burden. Um, they uh, just stated it and didn't give us any evidence um, on that. Um, so when it comes to um, immigrants being a physical burden, that seems to be the argument that is used a lot, um, but um, they didn't really address that. Um, and according to um, medium.com, there are only a few programs that undocumented immigrants are eligible for, which is a special supplement nutrition program for women, infants, and children, Head Start, and Emergency Medicaid. Um, and these programs aren't even that um, that big. For, so for supplement nutrition program for women, infants, and children, it's mostly for the, um, the daughters and the sons of um, immigrants, which are citizens of the United States. Um, and the Head Start program and emergency uh, Medicaid as well. Um, so these programs aren't just solely for um, immigrants, they're for the their kids and um, which are citizens of the United States and at the end um, end up helping the economy if they're well established and well enough um, within this economy. Um, And then um, going back to uh, my other point of why um, the monetary punishment won't work, people are already spending a lot of money on, um, so let's say someone crosses the border and um, they're here in the United States um, and trying to become a legal resident, they don't have the money to spend on um, unreasonable fines and charges. Um, Claire, according to UC Berkeley um, professor, Dr. Deere, uh, collateral damage caused by a broken immigration system is most clearly evident in the U.S. immigration courts, which for years have been clogged by ever-increasing deportation case loads. So instead of, um, you know, trying to take money out of a place where there clearly is no money, we should start investing um, into programs that will allow a good flow um, into the United States to where our business will start booming and economy um, will start to um, raise. Thank you.